tell you how it all began I can tell you how the world was started I can tell you who made this land I can tell you now In the beginning God created Everything you see, yes God made it The birds and the animals, the flowers and the trees The sun and the moon, the rivers and the seas In the beginning God created Everything you see, yes God made it But His very best creation of all trees, the sun and the moon, the rivers and the seas. In the beginning God created everything you see, yes God made it, but His very best creation of all is you. Hello boys and girls, I know you all have been waiting to hear what happened on day 4. We at the Pomona 7 day Adventist Church are very, are also very excited to share it with you. And we hope you enjoy our program. Let us pray. Oh Father, we are so thankful for this day. Please bless our program and all who are listening in Jesus name. Amen. Hello everyone, welcome to day four of creation. A special welcome to all you little boys and girls. As we listen and learn what happened on the fourth day, welcome, welcome and be blessed.
Hello everyone. Our scripture reading today is taken from Genesis 1, 14, 19. Then God said, Let there be lights in the sky to separate day from night. These lights will be used for signs, seasons, days, and years. They will be in the sky to give light to the earth. And it happened. So God made the two large lights. He made them brighter to rule the day. He made them smaller lights to rule the night. He made also the stars. God put all these things in the sky to shine on the earth. They are to rule over the day and over the night. He put them there to separate the light from the darkness. God saw that all these things were good. Evening passed and morning came. This was the fourth day. Do you know that as much as we complain about the heat of the sun and how bad it can be, it is also good for our mood and mental health. Research states that on days where there is less sunlight, people suffer from distress. And on days with more sunlight helps us to be in a better mood. So boys and girls and parents too remember to spend some time in the sun to improve your mood. Creation Day 4 The Sun, Moon and Stars It was the start of a brand new day. God said, Let there be lights in the sky to separate day from night. When God spoke these words, two great lights appeared, one for daytime and one for nighttime. For daytime, God put the sun up in the sky. For nighttime, He knew that we needed lights when it gets dark. The moon and the stars can help us see in the dark at night. God set the sun, moon, and stars in the sky. When his work was finished, he saw that it was good. It was the end of the fourth day. Our scripture reading says, God said, Let there be light in the sky to separate the day from the night. This light will be used for a sign, seasons, days, and years. They will be in the sky to give light to the earth, and it happened. We only have to look into the night sky filled with stars to see and we feel the majesty of God, especially when we understand that each star we see can be even as big as the sun it fascinates our mind isn't it amazing to think that these stars about a million billion miles away from us at creation god placed us in the right place in the galaxy where it would not be too hot for us or cold for us like some other planets isn't it amazing how Earth is just the right distance from the sun so that we receive enough light and heat. The temperature of the Earth is just right for us and all the animals and plants to go and become strong. God planned everything out so that we can live here on planet Earth and only a living and loving God would be so interested in doing that for us. On the third day, the Bible says, God made all the planets, but he did not stop there because God knows that they needed something important to survive. They needed the sun. The sun gives light and warmth. For the night sky, God made the moon, the stars, because he knows that after a long day, we will need to rest and sleep. So when God made the sun, the moon, and the stars on the fourth day, 
time as we knew it began. The earth spins one time. It takes 24 hours or one day. And in that day, we get day and night. God knows what his creation needed. He provided for them similarly. I know God knows what you need. He knows what you are going through. And just as he provides the sun and the moon the and the night sky for his creation, he is preparing something for your needs. And you can trust him because he loves you and me very much. That is my encouragement to you. Trust God to provide for you, your needs. Amen. I hope you enjoy our program, Let Us Pray. Friend Jim, Jesus, we come before you need to give you praise and thanks for helping us complete our program. And we need you to bless the persons at home that will be watching. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Creation. 